Here's a, a sort of follow-up, which, which does still talk about our minds, and I think you're, you're right to point out that if the world is fundamentally unpredictable, there's not a lot we can do. But I'm wondering what you think are the most important biases that people should be thinking about as they all are thinking about this concept of the singularity. It's obviously a you know, far-term future event, something that we don't expect tomorrow or next week, but maybe 30 years from now, 100 years from now, whatever. Um, and it's something that feels quite shocking and implausible. So what are the, the big biases, if you could make a checklist of things people should be checking uh, against? Well, you know, I think there is a major bias, which is believing in scenarios. That is, and, and it's a very common thing. I mean, we tell stories about the future, and we evaluate those stories by their coherence and, and to a very large extent by our, enable, by our inability to conceive of alternative scenarios. So a few scenarios that come up, come to our mind, uh, tend to dominate our expectations. And that is the risk, I think, in any uh, sort of attempt to predict the long-term future, is that we can tell stories and we're going to I mean, the, the stories we tell to judge by past experience are almost always wrong. So, you know, something else happens that we didn't, that we didn't expect. That seems to be the story. Uh, so, but we do tend to believe in some scenarios. The singularity scenario is particularly appealing be, because in one sense it looks like an inevitability. Uh, but I think there is a lot of experience that inevitable things don't always happen. So, 